Welcome to episode 12. We're going to start out this episode with an enchantment, and we're going to dedicate it to the new subscribers. So hopefully everything turns out well. Level 43, and we get efficiency 4 on breaking 3. Good enough. I'm extremely happy with that. You can never have enough of those. In this episode, we're going to go to the nether and finish up the nether hub. And I have none of the correct materials on me, so give me one second and we'll get that sorted out. Alright, I think I have everything, but like everything, you always forget something. If you notice, there might be something a little new here. I made a short video about it. Not short, but a longer video about it. It's a bonus. It's not the greatest video, but you can click the annotation to check it out. I need to make a little pit stop over at the stronghold. So we got some more nether brick from the nether fortress. I don't know if we'll need some. But we're heading back to the hub. I'm going to complete it. I decided to go with some sandstone. So we'll decorate it all up and see what it looks like. Also, one of the comments suggested that I put a pattern into the ceiling. So I'll try doing that also. No comments about me using a pickaxe on wood. So it doesn't look too bad. I like the way those walls look. It's same brightness as the floor, but it's a little bit different texture, so that's cool. So now let's cut to what the roof looks like, because I might have to rip it down, put it up, rip it down, put it up. So here it goes. Alright, that's what I came up with. Basically, it's, it's a pixel sun. I went through a few designs of it, but that's the best I could. The thing that sucks is the portal is four wide. And you can't really make any patterns that are four that aren't huge and there's not enough space. So that's what I came up with. Like it or don't. Well, that's why it's going to stay for now. And uh, this sandstone looks good, like I said. So now I'm going to call this project complete. I'm going to go home and finish another project. That's what this episode's going to be all about. Finishing projects. Where is my button? Maybe this is a, a project that I need to finish right now. Let's make a button. Job complete. And off we go. The next project is this little hallway here. I think I mentioned it last episode. Is that When I go AFK in my grinder, I'm always afraid of what's coming up these stairs, so I've been blocking it off. Well, I figure, how about we make it so that it automatically blocks itself off? Looks like I just destroyed some redstone there. We'll see if we can fix that in a minute. So that way, I don't have to do all this. It'll all be taken care of. Now let's see if we can fix this wiring here. I don't think you can run redstone over these. Well, that's alright. We'll figure a way around it. I think this will do the trick. But knowing my luck with redstone today, probably not. Now the problem is to get this redstone over to this side. I guess we'll just dig around the back here. Yep, that's right, I got stuck in a hole. Alright, we run that there. Put this there. Put that. Run this like this. This should do the trick. Let's press the button and see what happens. That goes on. Closed. 
All right, that was successful. Don't even have to undo anything. So that's another project done. Close that, kill some spiders. Maybe we'll find another project to finish now. All right, just put the top layer on the mob tower. Can't go any higher or else it will be over a limit, which will change something. I figured we'd just take a look here at this nighttime shot of the long distance view. And I'm thinking that you come back to this video in a month's time, and I bet you this view will have changed a lot. I'm, I need to explore a little bit more. I know there is a jungle that away. That's where I found those vines and stuff. Oh, I forgot it's nighttime and there's mobs out. We're at the bottom of the, the mob spawner. And as you can see, it's working pretty good. We're getting lots of stuff. But the thing that I forgot, and thank goodness another commenter mentioned it, is a water stop, basically, at the top of this tunnel. So we're going to do that now. Apologize for the darkness. It could be dangerous. But the good thing is it's nighttime out, so there's not a lot of mobs spawning. So basically, we're going to put water here. The sign will go there. So that way it should stop their momentum. And I think I'm drowning. Alright, so we'll do that. Cover up this tunnel. Hopefully that works itself out. Alright, as you saw there, they shouldn't die now. And I should be able to just hit them. Maybe make it a little bit further drop, so I only have to hit them once. Well, I think we're going to call the episode here for today. We did get a lot done. And tomorrow, I will make this look a lot better, that's for sure. But I'll remind you to watch the bonus video of me building that little drawbridge, I guess. I don't know, pop-up bridge. And thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll talk to you tomorrow.